July, uh, excuse me, it's uh, February 14th, 2011. This is a 10 gallon tank, again with a background that leaves much to be desired. I still haven't changed it out. This is a Shelly tank, Lamprologus multifasciatus. I just got them on uh, Saturday it was. I got it from a friend, got them from a friend. I intend to get some more from another source so I can have a little bit of mixture of the genes. And they're, they've settled in nicely. They Actually, when I got them from the friend, he just gave me the big shells. The big shells that are in there are from him. And that, that's how he caught the fish. He just grabbed the shells. And uh, we saw that fish were going in. And so he grabbed the shells. And there they were. Let's see. I'll zoom in. It's a little dark there. I'm looking at the, the multi right down here. Th this guy here. Let's see if I scan a little bit. There's a couple of cryptocurines in there. Hey, look at that. The, uh, the camera just adjusted itself for the light. Oh, well, you know what it was? It's the, uh, the whiteness of the shells. It's overexposing. Ah, that's what it is. Yeah. So I'd have to come down like this. There we go. Now you can see it a little better. I guess this thing is an, an averaging meter, averaging light meter, because when I aim it down more towards the dark, it, it allows us to see the, the fish a little better. It's funny. I was only thinking I was getting five multis. That's all I wanted. And when I came to work this morning, there was eight. So there was obviously more than one fish in each of these shells when we grabbed them. I called my friend and let him know, and he said, don't worry about it. They're like guppies. So. Oh, is that another sh snail? No, it's not. Oh. See, there's some red ram's horn snails in here. I really don't care to have them. I grabbed one out and put it in my uh, tank with the Ultralamprologus compressisips and the Reganis and they seem to keep the snails under control pretty well so if it, ra if it lays some eggs in there and the babies hatch or the eggs hatch <laughs> they'll eat the babies I don't really see any adults uh, in the tank anymore yeah that was not a shell I mean, that was not a snail. It was just a, a darkness in the shell. These are shark eye shells. I bought, a, bought them by the 100 bag. They were $6 a hundred. And yeah, there was a $50 minimum. I was pleased with the service from a place down in Florida. I was very pleased with the service, actually. Nothing to complain about. So this is the first time I'm having, I'm having multis. I've had uh, Lamprologus ocellatus, the gold, gold ossies, and they were pretty neat. And I, and I had them in the 37-gallon tank that I have here, but uh, I lost them all with a malfunctioning heater. Sad to say. So it looks like I have at least one male multi in there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping at least. Right here, this guy. Let's see. He's bigger than the others. There he is. That, that's the guy. I fed him some uh, pellets. They were they're used to flakes. I gave them pellets because that's what I feed and they didn't really take it too well. I gave them some blood, uh, black worms and they weren't too interested in that either. Maybe they still need to settle in. Although they are pretty active. The substrate's a mis mixture of uh, Peace River sand and Seachem uh, black fluorite.
temperature is pretty warm. I got to get a thermometer and see, but it feels warm. I mean, it's not like it's 85 or anything, but it's in the high 70s. Okay.